My garage door has two main issues. There are gaps on both the left and the right sides of the door, and the door does not lift easily. All of these problems are caused by loose set screws, causing a cable to be slack. Since one of the cables is slack, the other pulley and the cable are forced to lift the whole load of the door. This results in the door being hard to lift because half of the door is dragging in the track. Fixing these issues is done by adjusting the cables to have the same tension. To do this, I used a large C-clamp to hold onto the door. My garage door is wooden, so doing this doesn't damage the door. However, if you have a metal garage door, using a clamp in this matter would crush the clamped area. Perhaps on a metal door you could loop a rope around the whole door. Using another C-clamp let me hold the door back onto the spring's bar. This meant that both cables were completely slack and the spring was under the least amount of tension. To take out the rest of the spring's tension, I used a wrench and two rods. The end of the lifting spring has two set screws holding the spring onto the bar and four holes to use the rods. To begin taking out the tension, put one rod in and gently pull in the direction to tighten the spring. Then, while holding the weight of the spring, use your wrench to loosen any set screws. Once the set screws are completely loose, use both rods to take out all of the tension, being methodical and making sure that you have both rods firmly planted. Take your time and transfer the spring's weight smoothly, keeping a firm grip on your tools. The spring can throw your rods or turn them into a spinning death machine, so take care. The cable spools have set screws that need to be loosened to adjust the spool. The set screws on the left side of my garage door came loose and let the spool slip, causing all the issues with my door. I had difficulty getting access to the set screws because the adjustment side of the spool was too close to the wall. I had to reverse the spool so that I could have access to the set screws. Doing this doesn't affect the performance of the door because the spools are mirrors of each other. The cable will just wind from the other side. To align the spools to have symmetrical cable tension, I reference the letters on the sides of the spools to have a visual aid to line them up. Once I had the spools aligned, I could tighten the lifting spring. To tighten the lifting spring, you have to twist it in the direction to coil it tighter while pulling the coil apart and then tighten the set screws. If the spring is not pulled apart, it will coil onto itself as the door lowers and likely not let the door all the way down. If the spring is not turned over enough times, the door will be very hard to lift or drop to the ground without much resistance. I turned the lifting spring until I couldn't comfortably turn it farther while holding it out. This seems to be about the perfect tension for my door. It took a few hours to get through with fixing my garage door, with the root cause being the set screws coming loose on one spool. Now the door opens and closes smoothly, has smaller gaps, and lifts more easily.